Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. So today we're going to be doing a Shop My Stash for the month of January. This is going to be my first Shop My Stash of the year, so that is super exciting. I'm sorry if you can see me. <laughs> Awkward. Um, but uh, this is like in a corner and I don't really know how to stand. I'm still trying to figure this out. This is only my like third time doing this. So my goal this year is for this to be a monthly thing. I really ideally want to do this every two weeks, but I am not holding myself to that because I don't want to set myself up for failure. But that is my goal. At least every month I want to do a Shop My Stash just to make sure that I'm rotating through everything. But yeah, why don't we just go ahead and hop into it. I am going to take you through drawer by drawer and we will um, pick out some products to play with this month. Okay, so this right here is my new product drawer. This is where I house any makeup that is brand new to me that I have only tried a couple of times or haven't tried at all. Is this angle okay? I really freaking hope so. Um, I have some like random stuff in here from Christmas. So I'm just going to take all of these out. I was honestly just putting them in there because I had no room anywhere else. Okay, so this is all of the new like makeup makeup that I have. So a lot less than it looked like. But I want to pull basically all of this in. The first thing I know I want to pull in is this Saharan 2 palette. Um, it's a blush palette by Juvia's Place. I have used this a couple of times, but it just has some really nice shades. I'm trying to figure out if it is suitable for my skin tone. They do have a volume one, but it was out of stock, and yeah, I got this for Christmas. I love the shade B, and I love the shade Zoba as a highlight. I haven't tried any of the other shades, but they do look really nice swatched. I'll swatch them for you, because why not, you know? Why not? See, some of these colors look a little scary. However, they are able to be like... I don't want to say sheared out, but like, they're very blendable, is what I'm trying to say. So those are all of the colors. So you have one, two, three, four mattes, and then two shimmers, one that I would use as a highlight, and then one is more of like a blush topper. I would even make a pretty eyeshadow. So yeah, um, I'm going to be pulling that in for this month. The next thing I want to pull in is this eyeshadow palette from ColourPop. This is the Fame palette. I've used this a couple of times now and I really like this. It is a cool tone neutral palette and <laughs> I mean this is like my perfect palette right here. I am so into cool tones right now. I've tried a handful of the shades but I definitely want to play around with some of these like deeper shades. So, you know, this is like a nice like everyday palette. You have your like everyday tones up here and then if you want to smoke it up, you got some down here. I just put my finger in it. Um, but yeah, definitely going to be pulling this in to play with. Super excited about that. So I did get gifted the Naked 3 palette by Urban Decay, which I was really excited about because a while ago, like a couple years ago, I bought this palette on the streets of New York City. And I was using it, using it, whatever, and then someone told me that um, it might have been formulated with some really n not nice things. So then I got a little weirded out and I threw it away, but uh, yeah, now I have like the legit one, so that's really cool. I'm not going to pull this in right now because I'm not really into these colors at the moment, or am I? Mm, let, me, let me see. Oh, it is so pretty. You know what? This is very similar, actually, <laughs> to the uh, ColourPop palette. Like, it gives me very similar vibes. So I'll save this for another month, but I am definitely really excited that I have that. I do want to pull in this Butter London Glazen Eye Gloss. This is in the shade Moonshine. Moonshine? Moonshine. And this is kind of like a jelly eyeshadow. It is super interest okay. Super interesting like texture there. Can you see that? Look at it. It's like it's squishy. Squishy. So I'll uh I'll try and swatch it for you. It's a little hard to do with nails. But that is it right there. And it's just like a really pretty like I don't know, taupey glitter. 
and it seems to dry down which I really like so I think this would be really fun for like every day like a one shadow look um, super easy for every day so I'll definitely have to test that out I haven't used it at all yet um, but yeah definitely going to be trying that out um, I'm not gonna bring that in yet ooh okay so this is a highlighting palette by Revolution whatever the heck they're called these days Revolution makeup revolution revolution beauty you know this is I believe the ignited palette um, it has no information on it anywhere, but these highlighters are so pretty. I'm really excited about this, and I kind of forgot that I bought it, so I need to definitely pull that in. And then, last but not least, for this drawer, anyway, I got this for Christmas, and I hadn't heard anything about this. Like, I literally didn't see this on Trend Mood, I didn't see it on Tarte, I didn't see anyone talking about it, but it's this really cute little set. It's called the, what's it called? Passport to Paradise. It's like, you know, like one of those little um, holiday collections that Tarte loves to do. And I really like this because in the past, like, let me show you. Actually, no, let me not show you because it's hard to get out. But like the eyeshadow palette has been like, like attached to the carrying case. But here, it comes out. And that makes me so excited. And it has flamingos on it. So, yeah, this is the, I guess, just the Passport to Paradise palette. And these are the colors. It's very typical Tarte. You know, you got your pinky champagnes with a pop of, like, bluish green down here and some orange. And I just really want to play with this because, you know, I'm a sucker for Tarte's packaging. I really am. And I had heard nothing about this. So definitely pulling the palette in. Um, I'm not going to pull the mascara in because I'm working on some mascaras right now. I will pull in, however... Oh god, Jamie, don't break it now, don't break it now. Huh? Ooh. I will pull in the lip paint. So I swatched this, and this is a lip gloss. They have their matte lip paint, and then they just have their lip paint. This is in the shade Serenity, and it's like a really pretty color. That's Serenity right there. Just a really pretty pink. So I will play with that a bit. And then I will pull in this blush just because, you know, why not? Um, this is Ohana. So that is what Ohana looks like. It's just a super, like, neutrally blush. That is it right there. Can you see that? There we go. So, yeah, just some new products from Tarte that I'm really stoked to play with. Tarte is kind of like up and down for me, but this I'm like really excited about. I was super happy when I opened it on Christmas. So, very exciting. I'm going to leave the, uh, the rest of the little palette like in here. And then I think I'm going to try this another month. Um, this is another eyeshadow palette, but I don't want to overwhelm myself right now with like larger palettes. So I am going to hold off there. And while we're down here, because I don't feel like setting up my tripod again, sorry, this cord is here. Um, I'm going to pick a couple of small palettes to use because I feel like I haven't really been giving my small palettes any love. So let's see. I'm going to pull out my Milani, um, this is the Everyday Eyes Earthy Elements palette. This is just a really nice everyday palette. It has some neutrals in there, an orange, and honestly, I think that's where I'm going to leave it with palettes for this month. But I really don't have any, like, warm tones. But do I really need warm tones? I really haven't been wearing warm tones. I really haven't. Um, um, um... Um, ooh, you know what? I'm going to play my Tartlet Toasted Palette because I really haven't played with this much at all. And if I feel um, inclined to wear a warm toned eyeshadow look, I can use that one. So that is good for me for now. These are my large palettes. I really don't want to go in there for this month. And yeah, let's stand up and go through the rest of my collection. Holy crap. Am I old? Because this fucking hurts. Oh my god. Ugh. Okay, Jamie, you 
you can do that. You can do it. One foot after the other. Whoa. Oh my god, guys. That was harder than I really think it should have been. Okay, so this top drawer is my face palette drawer. I need like a contour bronzer type palette. So I'm going to pull in my Becca Apresky Face Glow Palette. I love this palette. It was limited edition for holiday last year. I love it. It has some highlighters. It has like a blush topper for me, a blush, and a bronzer. I really like this, and I know that the other palette I pulled had a highlighter, but that one's a little like duochrome -y, so when I want something a little more like like a standard highlight for me, I can reach to this palette. And I think that's all I'm going to pull from this drawer. Now, this is uh, my like mascara, eyeliner, glitter, single eyeshadow drawer. Um, I'm going to pull an eyeshadow primer just because I'm trying to be better about priming my eyes before eyeshadow because I really do notice a difference when I use it as opposed to not use it. So this is my Milani eyeshadow primer. I'm going to pull that guy in. Um, for mascara, you guys, I have been really... Hold on. Can we... Hello, light. Can we can we cooperate here? I have really been enjoying this mascara. It's really hard to show you the the name. It's the Milk Makeup Kush Mascara. I really like this. This is a mini size that I got. I think it's like a hundred point perk at Sephora or something like that. I really like this. It is a very like wet formula, which typically isn't my style, but I really I've just been really liking it. So. Definitely going to pull this out. And then I also have my Tardis, Tardis Lash Paint um, Mascara. And yeah, I'm going to use this because it is opened. Um, and then I think that's going to be good for mascara, honestly. That is good for me. For eyeliners, I'm going to pull this in. It's just like a like crayon eyeshadow. I don't know. I thought that that could be fun for like an easy work look. And then it comes with an eyeliner on the other side. So yeah, I've really been liking purple lately. So I will pull that in. And then I need a liquid eyeliner. And I just started using this one. This is by NYX. It's the Epic Ink Liner. I've heard so many good things about it and I used it a couple of times and I really do like it. So I'm going to pull that in. And then I need a black waterline liner. So this is by Ulta Beauty. It's in blackout. It is just a black like gel liner. So I'll pull that in. I really think that should be fine for now. Ooh, and then you know what? I'm going to pull this eyeliner in by Makeup Geek. It is their full spectrum eyeliner in Plumeria. And it's like this oxblood color, which kind of makes me look dead, but I kind of like the way it looks. So that sounded morbid, not what I meant. Um, and I think that's going to be good for this drawer. I don't really want any single shadows. Yeah. Nah. And nah. Nah. Okay. On to the next one. This is my uh, backup drawer, so we don't need to look in there because it's a mess. So this is my like bronzer highlighter drawer. I have a couple of highlights and one bronzer in those palettes, but I'm gonna pull a couple more just because I really like to have options, you know? I'm a girl, I like options. Um, one bronzer that I am going to poo, this is by Ulta Beauty. It is their matte bronzer in warm. That is what it looks like. I have barely used this, but it is a really nice bronzer. You can barely see it. It is here on me. You can really barely see that. Um, but it's a really nice, like, everyday bronzer for me. So I will pull that in. Okay, so I have that bronzer. And then for highlights... Oh, you know what else I want to pull for bronzer, actually? This is by Pixie by Petra. It is their... Multi Balm in Sheer Sculpt. That is what that looks like. I really like this for a cream bronzer. I'm really not one to cream bronze, but this has been getting me into it, so I'm going to use that. And then while we're at it, let's just pull in a cream highlight. 
you know my battle <laughs> with the ColourPop Super Shock highlights, but I really want to try. I want to try and use them. So this is the color Lunch Money. It is so thick and pretty, so I am going to try because I'm getting into creams right now, so I'm hoping, I'm hoping, I'm hoping they don't do me wrong. Um, and then, I need like one more powder highlight, I think. One more Uno Mas. I'll pull in this one. This is by e.l.f. This is in Moonlight Pearls. I really have, again, haven't really used this. Oh, but that is really pretty. That's it right there. That glow right there. So I will pull that in. And then I really think that should do it for products in this drawer. This is my blush and powder drawer, which I know is a random assortment, but um, that's the only way that I could really store it. So first up, I forgot. This is actually new. It should have been in my new drawer. This is by Jordana. I haven't heard anyone talk about this. It's the Triple Play All Over Color Application. And this is in the shade... Nude Peach. It says it can be applied to the lips and cheeks and eyes. So I'm going to use it for the cheeks. I think it'll be a really nice cream blusher. Let's swatch it just to see because I honestly haven't even done that yet. Let's see. Here we are. Ooh, that feels really nice. That is so creamy and I really like that color. Ooh, I am excited. Let's see. Can we blend it? Oh yeah, that feels nice. Oh, it's so blendable. Yeah, guys, I'm excited for that one. Woo hoo. Um, I'm gonna pull this in. This is, um, you know what, actually no. I'm gonna pull in a color that's gonna complement that thing, the blush that I just swatched. So I'm gonna pull in this Essence um, Satin Touch Blush in Satin Coral. Because I feel like that will actually be really nice to like put over the Jordana one. So that's what we'll do there. And then that's really enough for blush. And then for powder. It's really hard to see powders because they're like all the way in the back here. But. Um, yeah. I have this one that I haven't even tried yet. This is by Ulta Beauty as well. It's the Finishing Powder Lightweight Matte Finish in Fair to Light. So I'm going to go ahead and give that a try. And then I do have a loose powder in my project pan right now. And then I'm gonna pull in this Super CC Physicians Formula powder in light medium. I've really actually been actually been liking this. I feel like it makes my skin look really nice. So I'm going to go ahead and pull that in. And then that should do it for this drawer. That's a struggle. And then this is going to be the final drawer. This is my like complexion drawer, my foundations, concealers, and setting sprays and primers. So for primer, um, let me go ahead and pull this in. This is my hard candy, sheer, perfect, perfecting, whatever primer. Minimizes lines and pores for a smooth finish. I, it's kind of like a silicone primer, so I'll try that. And then I... I'm gonna pull this in. This is by Smashbox. It is their like color correcting primer for redness. So I'll pull that in. And then I'm gonna pull this in because I haven't used this in quite a bit now. It's the Farsali Unicorn Essence. This was such a like Instagram hyped product, but I really do like it. And that should be good for primers. Actually, no. I'm going to pull in my Hourglass mini like veil primer. I want this out of my collection, so I just want to finish it. Then for setting sprays, I'm going to pull in my Hard Candy Long Wear, what is this? Sheer Envy um, spray. That should be good for sprays. For foundation, for foundation, um, 
I definitely want, <laughs> I don't know what I want. Um, I really want to use my Flower Beauty Light Illusion Foundation. I have mine in the shade <sighs> Ivory L2. I really like this um, and my skin has been a little drier lately so that'll look lovely. Then I want to pull in my Joa Beauty Foundation. This is the Truly Yours um, Foundation Drop. I have mine in the shade Classic Ivory. I'm still trying that out, so I would like to pull that in. I'm gonna bring in my CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Elixir Foundation. I have mine in the shade Classic Ivory. I've been really liking this, like really liking it. So, gonna pull that in. Last but not least, I'm gonna pull in my Essence Fresh and Fit Awake Makeup. I have mine in the shade 10 Fresh Ivory. So, gonna pull that in. So that's one, two, three, that's four foundations. You know what? I'm also gonna pull in a cushion foundation because I really, I was going through my foundations yesterday and I forgot that I even owned cushion foundations. This one is by Physicians Formula. It's the Mineral Cushion Foundation. And yeah, I really don't even remember how I feel about this. So I'll pull that in. That should do it for foundation. And then my concealers are all the way in the back here. But these are the two that I've really been reaching for lately. This is the Flower Beauty Longwear Illusion, uh, Light Illusion Full Coverage uh, Concealer. This is the Too Faced Born This Way. I have this in the shade Snow and this in the shade Fair. And then, I'm actually going to pull in this Bare Minerals Bare Skin Complete Coverage Serum Concealer in the shade Fair. This is my favorite concealer, but I am pretty much out of it, so I think it only has a couple uses left, and then it'll be out of my collection. Okay guys, so this is my setup right now. Up top we have all of our lip products. Sorry, let me turn this off. Up top we have all of the lip products. So these are all the lip products I will be using for the month of January. Then over here I always just have like moisturizers, hair clips, a lip scrub, a comb, things like that. Back here I have the, I lost two nails in the process of doing this. Well, um, I have the Tartlet Toasted as well as the Milani um, Earthy Elements palette. I also have one lippy hiding back here because it didn't fit anywhere else. I'm afraid it's going to get lost in the mix, but had nowhere else to put it. Um, then this drawer right here is all of my Project Pan items, so I'm not going to go through those. These are a highlight, some blush products my bronzer, contour, highlight, and a lip product, some lip products, um, my CC um, powder, and a concealer. And here I have all of my eyebrow products. That is just where they always stay. It's a little hard to close these because one of the drawers is so full. Um, this is in my Project Pan. This is the powder from Ulta, some mascaras, the eye glaze, and my eyeshadow primer. And then in here, ow, oh my god, tell, nope, yep, goodbye, okay, that's great. I, <laughs> I'll probably end up changing this because this is the biggest pain in the ass I've ever encountered, but these are all my foundations and concealers and primers. Um, anyway, that is my everyday makeup drawer or unit or chamois sash, whatever you want to call it for the month of January. I also have some things hiding out here. Oh, and I also have my palettes down here, a nice face roller, makeup wipes. And yeah, I would love to have a better way to store everything, but I don't. My vanity is very small. I have a small bedroom, so this is going to have to do. I hope that you guys enjoyed. I'm really excited to use all these products this month, and I just love shopping my stash for things that I maybe forgot about or um, need to fall back in love with. So again, thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!